I'm gonna get me a cardigan and do a Mr. Rogers um, video one of these days as I teach you a little bit about dogs. Now, we're gonna disclose or discuss a little bit about the pocket, the standard, the XL. Here's the thing, I got a message the other day and I replied to a, a few and it's, I tell you, it's already exhausting only because we're still having the same conversation and here's the challenge. People say, hey, can I take my, this guy really, he, I should show you. He said, I'll pay you for an answer. And I'm like, it's not that serious, man. And he just wanted to know, could he take his XL to a standard? I'm not the police. You can do as you please. People are already doing what they please. That's why, there's, that's why there's so many problems. So let's just take a look at something. Do you see a difference between this dog? Can you see that? And this dog? Nope. Same dog. Guess what? This one is a standard schnauzer. This one is a giant schnauzer. God, boy, they sure do look alike. Now, when you're asking me, or you're asking, hey, can I take my giant, or can I take my XL to my pocket? Can I take my XL to my, my standard? Can I take a standard to a pocket? You're, you're asking, hey, what am I gonna get? <laughs> well, hopefully you don't get some donkeys. Because that's what's happening. A lot of times you get some donkeys. And you say, man, I don't know if I want to keep producing or producing any donkeys. Now, pocket bully. Heavy emphasis on, I believe, more of the English bulldog, which is a smaller bulldog, but you want he but you wanted heavier bone. You wanted a shorter stop. What has a shorter stop? A bulldog. That stop is so short and dang near can't even see his nose. Almost look like a pug, depending on what kind of bulldog you get. If you add Bulldog to anything and Google Bulldog a lot of times, it will show up that it has a plethora of problems. Plethora means more than I could handle, that's for sure. Which means it's going to get expensive. So, can you take this to this? 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 Guys, you can take whatever you want to whatever you want. The challenge is, is what do the dogs need? I've talked about this in the other video. As you guys keep designing a, 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 an idea. Keep designing an idea. The ideas are getting worse and worse. Now in people's minds, man look at this dog right here, I got this exotic such and such. It's got super bold legs, rickets, and a short rear. And it looks like a, a muggly dog. Ugly, aka ugly. So you're, you're designing more problems to make your, you know, the people are designing more problems to make these dogs more distinct. And that's only shortening the life of these dogs. And one thing we're not looking at the American Bully, we're not looking anymore at a dog who lives 10, 15 years. Like, where's those dogs at? They probably won't exist if we're being honest. We're talking about people are producing dogs that are gonna be a solid seven to nine tops. And the way it's looking, I know a couple of dogs that died before five. That's scary. So, Ken, what I recommend, you do this to this, this to this, this to this. Well, we talked about this. If I add Mastiff to a standard, which is often rooted in a more terrier style, is its history, its lineage is rooted in more terrier. These two things now become defensive, and now you have a problem. If I take this to this, now you've doubled up on the defense because bulldogs aren't. I mean, they're 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 assholes. They are. The chew up things, will tear things up. They're actually they're some, they could be some go getters, but they're also still submissive and defensive at times. So now we've doubled up on defense, and you wonder why not only do these dogs look weird, but you turn around, and now the dog potentially bites somebody because you didn't know how to properly raise it. And if I add the terrier to the pocket, which is also, again, more pockets rooted in bulldog. This is rooted in more terrier a lot of times. You go, now I have a defensive outgoing dog. <laughs> what happens when somebody runs up on you but don't want to, and they shoot first? <gasps> boom, boom, boom. Oh, man, you, I, I thought you was going to do that. Yeah. Oh, oh, well, that wasn't the case. <laughs> That's how people get, get killed when you have, when they got prey drive, but ain't really about that life. It's all gas and smoke. My point is this. If you want healthier dogs, this is my best advice. You know, I said I wasn't going to keep talking about the American Bully. Unfortunately, <laughs> you know, we still have to breed through quite a few breedings. And the truth is, our dogs are American Bullies on paper. So I can't not talk about it, but I don't want to talk about it no more. So this is my best advice. Create a concept that's rooted in what you believe, hopefully it's founded in health, 
And what I'm saying is, I'll give a few people some shout outs. There's a kennel called Bayou Blood. Their dogs look unique. XXL Designer Pits, they look unique. Sin City Pits, stay true to his cause. And, and he looks, you know, their dogs look unique. Rooted in that old disciple slash Roman from Iron Cross Kennel stuff. Bossy dogs, they look like bossy dogs. They're unique. Those people who kind of stand out, they found a lane and they, they, they built something special for them. And people have latched onto that. And so when you're out here buying sporadic or getting random weird old dogs from people, hey man, I got this free dog, man. I mean, I've gotten messages literally and people say, man, I got a, this dog from a crackhead. I'm like, how, how is a crackhead selling a dog? And why would you buy a dog from a crackhead? This is a true story. They go, you got it from a crackhead? Yeah, man, I had to say that dog's life, but a crackhead was out here. What? And I told him, I said, you know, maybe this is the way. Maybe we just need to, no, just no. So, I would tell you, if you're talking about the long game, and remember, life is not a game, but I think it is important to have fun, that you play with the quality of life versus how it looks. This dog is a status symbol. This dog is a status symbol. This dog is the dog that people kind of don't like. The irony is, is this dog normally wins the ABKC Nationals. <laughs> Blue was a standard. I think the dog before that was a standard. Um, I know Zero's a standard who won last year. So quite a few standards actually win and everybody's caught up on these two. Or they like these two more. These are the ones you hear, man, I want me a good pocket because I can't do nothing. <laughs> I want me a good XL, a big XL. If you have an XL and it's over 120, 30 pounds, we talked about this. There's only one, two dogs that are over 110, 20 pounds. One is a Rottweiler. They can get up there. Definitely a Mastiff of some sort. A Canna Corso, a Neapolitan Mastiff. Your Mastiffs and, and, and other large breeds are the ones that they added to get this. But Mastiffs are not go-getters, man. So you're doubling up on problems if you don't know how to manage it. Can you, should you, take an XL to a standard? No, unless you know what you're doing. You want to know more about how to make it make sense? I'm happy to do another video. Comment below. Uh, Jamarcus told me that some people asked specifically about detailing all the pocket and its problems. We'll get to that soon. Within the next 48 to 72 hours, I will write down all the dogs and how to manage a pocket if I were you. Stay tuned, people. Keep taking care of your dogs. T-Fit here with Fit Bully TV. Thank you, as always, for watching.